Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can uh, use Pear Deck really effectively to view student responses in real time at the same time as casting your desktop and showing students what you want them to see. Um, so here I've got my uh, Pear Deck enabled slides that I've made. Um, and I'm just going to uh, launch my Pear Deck session. And this one I'm going to do as a instructor paste activity uh, because that's the easiest one to show. So when you launch that as an instructor paste activity, Pear Deck will automatically open up uh, the whiteboard view and the teacher view. So what we now want to do is share the whiteboard view with our students and the uh, and have the teacher view for us. So what I would normally do is take my whiteboard view and I would put that on my second monitor. So when that's on my second monitor, then I just stream my monitor directly to the students. But I know not everybody has a second monitor. So I'm going to show you another method that you can use uh, in order to uh, use one screen but still be able to see your work um, oh, sorry, uh, stream to the students and see your stuff. So Pear Decks are taking a few minutes to load, so we'll let that keep going in the background. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to start a new Zoom meeting. Um, this should be fairly similar if you're using Microsoft Teams as well. You're not going to see uh, massive differences between these two things. Okay, so at the moment I have two tabs open uh, in Chrome. One is my teacher mode. So here I can see the responses that will come in from my students. Uh, and here is my whiteboard mode that I want to project to the students. So if you only have one monitor, here's the trick. What you're going to do is just put it into two separate windows. So I'm just going to resize this window to take up half my desktop. And then I'm going to pull this tab off and put it here for my teacher mode. So now I've got two different displays going on simultaneously. Okay, so I've got my Zoom meeting open. So now I want to share my uh, display with my students. So what I'm going to do is, as usual, I'm going to click share screen, but I'm not going to just give them my whole desktop. Instead, I'm just going to give them the Chrome window that has the, uh, the projector view on it. So if you click here, can you see that uh, you can just see that this is a projector view, whereas this one is the teacher view. So I'm going to click that and then hit share. So now I'm screen sharing on Zoom but the students can only see this window. Now that does have some uh, disadvantages. Um, one of those disadvantages is they're gonna see this as quite a rectangular thing, um, so it's not gonna look too pretty. Now if you're feeling really confident, there is, a different, there is a way around that. What you can do is you can do an advanced share and share a portion of your screen. So when you do that, you'll get this green box, and then you can just resize that green box around your content in the slide. Um, and that should resize itself automatically for your students on their devices. So they're now going to see what's on here. So you're sharing this. And that's now a really powerful option because I can now click through my projector view um, and I'll see my responses appearing on here. So for me as the teacher, I can see what's going on on the right but the students can only see what's in the green box. Now, obviously, like I said, if you have a second monitor, it's way easier to drag this whole window onto your second monitor and just use that, um, and then have the, this, uh, your, your main laptop monitor um, just for you. But if you're stuck with one screen, this is the way that you can do it. Now, a couple of people have asked as well about uh, annotating stuff. So I'm just gonna get out my graphics tablet. If I then click annotate on here, I now have the annotation tools um, and I can use my graphics tablet to draw on my pair deck 
Um, so I might hear, um, tell them, all right, polythene, I've got a lot of VAL learners being in Malaysia, so I might remind them that polythene means plastic. Uh, and in the context of this lesson, which is about um, static electricity, I'll remind them that plastic is an insulator. And again, whatever's in this window is going to be sent to my students, so they're going to be able to see that on their Zoom windows, um, and then they can just switch back into their Pear Deck to give me answers that I'll see here on the right. I hope that was useful to you. If you do have any questions, please drop me a note in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you uh, to help you work with this.